Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Lahore, the craziness of Lahore as you see traffic coming from every which way. In today's video guys, I'm going on a little solo mission. Harry's gonna be doing some work, so it is just me going out and I'm actually on the hunt to find a traditional Pakistani breakfast. Basically, I had one of my followers on Instagram offer me a recommendation to go to Liberty Market. So it's about 20 minutes away from where I'm staying at the uh, Avari Express. Once I get over there, I've got a specific place to go to that's the ultimate Pakistani breakfast. And I need to look at my phone once we get there and tell you guys the name of the food because it's hard for me to pronounce, but I wanna try out the local food. I wanna try out something delicious. So let's head on over there. As we go, if I see anything interesting, I'll share it with you guys along the way. And already guys, I'm thinking it might make sense to stop over here at Gloria Jean's Coffee. So we'll stop there first before we make a trip up. Salam Alaikum. So we're heading up here guys, get something to wake us up for the morning. Cause you know, in my opinion, you can never have too many coffees. That is gonna be my plan. I think we have Gloria Jean's coffee this way. Salam alaikum. And let's see, we've got it here. You know how to get to Gloria Jean's? It's closed this time. Closed? Open at 12 o'clock. Oh, 12 o'clock. All right, shukriya my friend. Well guys, looks like we won't be having a coffee today. At least until we get to the next place because Gloria Jeans is closed until noon. So that's a huge bummer, but on to the next place. We tried, guys. That's interesting, though. I've never heard of a coffee shop that opens at noon. Don't people want to come get their morning cup of Joe? Joe's slang for uh, coffee in the U.S. Morning cup of Joe? I would. Definitely before noon. Yeah, we'll keep walking guys and I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled in case we find some other place to get some coffee But as you can see the weather is quite nice. So we've got a little less haze than usual You can almost see that it's a blue sky, but up there it is still quite hazy I will say if you're walking around here watch out for the huge potholes in here The sewers don't have a uh, sewer cap on them. So one wrong step and You can literally drop down like a couple meters some of them go down that one, you don't want to get locked down in there. Oh, we've got uh, quite a tight fit here, guys. We're sharing, we're sharing the road with motorcycles and cars going opposite directions down this side road. I'm not entirely sure if this is just like a protected side road or if it's a one-way street because it says one-way tire killer. But you know, it's Pakistan. Some of these areas, the traffic rules don't always apply. Uh, Liberty Market? Yeah. Yeah, can you take me? Liberty Market? Liberty Market. I am go to. You are look connect. Similar. You can take me. Take me. Oh yes. Uber. I am Uber. Yeah, I, I pay you. Hand by hand. Yeah. Uh, I pay you uh, 150. Liberty Market. All right, guys. Here we go. Just found a guy on a motorcycle. Figured might as well. Uh, Find another way. So we're doing a little motorcycle Uber. You are. Yeah. 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 Very nice. So here we go, guys. Round two on the bike. Last time I was on a bike was in uh, Karachi. And full speed ahead. All right. Oh, and as you can tell, with the cars here, it's always a uh, first come, first serve. We're merging on. All right. Full speed ahead. All right, I will say it goes much quicker than walking. That's for sure, that's for sure. We've got a lot of birds up there just circling around the city. Salam alaikum, yar. Good, and you? Very good. Yeah, the nice part in uh, Pakistan, you can just be driving down the road and have conversations with people right next door to you. Very nice country, Pakistan. Very nice country, Pakistan. Good country, good people. Goodbye, yar. Yeah, it's not as busy for a uh, Wednesday morning as I would have expected it to be kind of low-key not too much traffic which is nice generally Lahore does not seem anywhere near as crowded as Karachi Salam very friendly people they're probably wondering who's this tourist wearing the uh, shirt halfway buttoned down cruising on the back of a motorcycle holding the camera up to his face you are location uh, Liberty Market so I'm kind of thinking we drove a little past Liberty Market but inshallah we'll make it as you guys can see the craziness it is a bit dangerous being on a motorbike because there's just cars and motorcycles coming from any direction at any point it's a perfect temperature though today it's probably like uh 15 20. oh and that's why you got to keep your limbs and everything close on because uh out of nowhere you never know when a complete stop's gonna come 
Oh, Pakistan's a great country. Very nice. We're meeting some friendly locals here, guys. Very friendly locals as we cruise around. Oh, now we're starting to get into the busyness. Multiple lane highway. There's a reason why motorcyclists wear helmets out here. Let's put it that way. Oh, there's Liberty. That's a good sign. No pun intended. It's funny because in most countries, I wouldn't ride around in a motorcycle, but when I'm in places like Pakistan, I want the full locals experience. So I take you guys with me for it. Oh yeah, now we're starting to get into the uh, tighter fits. Salam. Pakistan Zinda Bar. Pakistan Zinda Bar. My name is Prasad. 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 Prasad Yani. Prasad Yani. Prasad Yani. He's got a good name. Kind sir, and he's getting us safely to the destination. Pakistan Zinda Bar. Pakistan Zinda Bar. Yes. All right, we're gonna check the map right here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. It seems like we went to the other Liberty Market. Heather Road. Cause see, it's uh, it says Liberty Market's right here. Uh, one minute. Uncle, ye Liberty Market jana. Ka jana o pichya hai na, o chong se pata kare. Chong se? Assalamu alaikum, yaar. Wa alaikum assalam. All right, guys, we're getting some directions from the locals here, and uh, we're gonna try take two for Liberty Market. The nice part is we got a little little cruise going on, so that'll do. Oh, hitting a couple bumps. That's yeah, nice over here, though. Nice little banana fruit stand markets. Good way to see to the city a little bit more. Liberty Market. Liberty Market. Liberty Market. All right, guys, full speed ahead. Take to Liberty Market. I am ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. Enjoyable ride with my yeah. friend. Shukriya. Shukriya. Pakistan. Zindabad. Zindabad. Pakistan. Zindabad. That's how you make friends with the locals, guys. Salam. Salam. Okay. Abkesa hai. Tigo, tigo. We're meeting everyone just riding around on the bike, guys. My buddy Luke the man told me Pakistan's one of the friendliest countries in the world. And he's right. Liberty market jana. Liberty market jana. Liberty market. Shukriya yaar. Shukriya. All right, take three. We're looking for Liberty Market. It's quite a comfortable uh, motorcycle. It's got a pretty cushiony seat in the back and uh, a good driver. Oh, we got a car coming through. Salam! All right, now we got the real merge coming on. We're sneaking over and successful merge. Pretty nice architecture here. Look at that massive corporate building. Audi Lahore. Yeah, must be their like corporate office. Comment below if you know. Uh, oh, as you can see, whoa, we got one right there. That's how close things get, guys. We're like inches away or centimeters away from hitting that car and getting sandwiched by a uh, motorcycle there. Salam. Shukriya uh, Yar. Location? Location? Yeah. yeah, anywhere near Liberty Market works for me, boss. Yeah, yeah, Liberty Market. Perfect. All right, guys, we're starting to see some new territory over here. That's, that means uh, we're probably approaching Liberty Market pretty soon. Yeah, Liberty Market, yeah. This is Liberty Market? Yeah. Ah, perfect, perfect. Right here is good, my friend. Ah, this is good. All right, my friend, thanks for the extra time. Shukriya yaar. Until next time. All right, we had a nice gentleman take us around, give him a few extra bucks because I don't think he knew where he was going and he probably missed out on a couple rides. So definitely made, made his day, tossing him a little extra cash. But hey, that's what we're here for, guys. Support the locals when they're honest people. And he gave me an honest price on the bike originally. So you know me, guys, always supporting the honest people 
and bargaining be not honest. Or sometimes I just bargain because it's important to show also how to bargain in some of these countries. So most of the time, it, it depends though, it depends. All right guys, funny enough, Liberty Market must be like an entire district or something because I just put it in the GPS here and actually we're a 17 minute walk away. Oh well, it's all part of the adventure to explore more of Pakistan. So you guys will just come with me on the journey as we continue to explore this area and make our way over for an ultimate Pakistani breakfast. And maybe once we're over here, we'll be able to find a little coffee shop too, inshallah. All right guys, this is really gonna test out my Middle Eastern skills. We gotta cross a one, two, three, four, five lane road in the busyness salam salam nice people though we got buses coming from here we've got motorcycles coming and we've got even bigger buses right behind it so we got to figure out how we're going to cross this thing i'm pretty sure the key is once you start walking you just don't stop and then cars find their way around so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here yeah and we're gonna see if this works if we keep walking motorcycles are moving around wow it's amazing how well it works Hello, hello, the, and we're gonna make it. As you can see, it's, there's definitely no rule book on how to cross a road here. And it's the furthest thing from safe, but there's only one way to get across and that's to uh, find a way. And as you can see over there, the traffic's never slowing down. Good news is though, like if you do that in, in like a city or like another country where that's not normal, that like would be so dangerous. And it's still dangerous here, don't get me wrong, but it's more expected here. Like it's very common, you'll see people walking across these busy roads. We only have one more busy road to cross. Honestly though, I'm not a big fan of crossing them because it is pretty scary. All right, and here we go again. We're gonna try and cross this one, which will be a bit of a challenge, not gonna lie. It seems like it's way, way busier. And since the way we have to cross, the curve's coming around this way. So it's really gonna test our luck this time, guys. I'm not excited for it. But we're gonna get across. I believe it, as soon as we get a chance here. See, we got this guy over here walking in the middle of the road. The cars just never stop coming, though. All right, so this guy knows what he's doing. I gotta, I gotta take lessons from this guy. He's crossing here. And he's just going straight in. Let's watch him do it. The dangerous thing is I probably shouldn't go at the same time as him because a car trying to dodge the way from him might take me out. Wow, he's just going for it. All right. Oh, he did it. Yeah, there we go. Nice job. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get across. Okay. Shukriya. See, our man who probably does this every day almost didn't make it across, making me more nervous. But actually, I'm gonna go to a, a safer spot to cross, like right up here. Hopefully, should be a little bit easier. Oh, this is intimidating though, guys. <laughs> it's actually sketch, so sketch to cross these streets. All right, all right, I'm thinking we're gonna, we're gonna have an opportunity to go and I'm just gonna start walking here, all right? And, uh, oh, we are gonna make it and, oh, and, Oh, all right guys, that is a successful cross. Oh, that was probably the most scared I've ever been crossing a road. Like one false move or one hesitation there, because traffic is just flowing, like they expect you to keep walking. Even if there's a close call, and obviously don't take my words like verbatim word for word because like, you know, you gotta analyze each situation. Wow, I could honestly talk about the traffic for days, guys. <laughs> but uh, we're almost to the Liberty Market. We are on our last stretch here. Looks like this is an easier road to cross. And I wanna say that we're gonna be going through those barricades, or not the barricades, but the uh, big opening. That's at least where the GPS is taking me, so we'll find out pretty soon. Salam Alaikum. Uh, very kind people. Some of the local salesmen cruising through here. And this, I believe, is where we're heading. So here we are, the Nishtar Park Sports Complex, Lahore. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I've got a big sign right there. Languages spoken in Asia, 832. Number of countries, 50. Wow. Actually, that's like a really interesting library over there. Is that what it is? Yeah, East Library, Lahore. Oh, shit. Oh, we're gonna die here at the easier road to cross, guys. Oh my God. That motorcycle literally just came out of absolutely nowhere. Salam. Yeah, you really gotta pay attention, guys. You know that feeling like as soon as your body like injects a full shot of adrenaline in you and you're about to like have your life flash before your eyes? That's how my whole body feels right now, just shaking a little bit. Uh, and right here's the uh, massive sports arena. I'm not entirely certain what it is. Maybe it's uh, cricket? That would be my best guess. Oh, lungs are about to be screwed. Hold your breath. 
Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. It's a pleasure to meet you. You know Urdu language? Uh, be. I only know how to say uh, Assalamu alaikum and other people and, uh, and Bahut Acha. Bahut Acha. Yeah. And, and Shukriya Yar. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a good one. Man. Whoa! We're gonna die there. Hello, hello, my friends. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Yeah. We got our bro here. Shukriya Yar. Goodbye, goodbye. We're meeting more of the uh, kind, hard workers of this area. So it's been nice, we got a good guy. Salam alaikum. Everyone's a kind person around here. We are almost to the end, guys. It seems like we're in a bit of a sports area over here. Salam. Yeah, everyone's friendly here. And guys, I think this is where we want to go right up here. Balochi Saad. I'm gonna have to look up at the uh, directions now and figure that out. Well, guys, I'm about to be disappointed. I have a feeling. We're one minute away and it seems like it's going to be a spot inside of this stadium, so it might not be open. I think this is it. This is Bundu Khan. Ah, and you guys are open for good breakfast? One, one, uh, How long? One o'clock. One, oh, one o'clock. An hour and 10 minutes. Oh, um, it's uh, 11.49. Mm -hmm. Hour one and 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow, all right. What else should I do around here? Is there anything fun? Can I go inside the stadium? Gigi, it's off your stadium. I can go? Yeah. How do I get in? No. No? No. I can't enter? No. Dang. But this is good breakfast here? Breakfast, no. No. Liberty breakfast. Liberty. Khan ki branche, Liberty. Uh, Liberty. Gigi. So this isn't Liberty? No. Oh. Yeah, off your stadium. Uh, so there's two different Bundu Khans. Gigi, different. Ah, uh, okay. Branches. Two different branches, okay. Yeah, yeah. Shukriya Yar. Well guys, the adventure continues. We were at the wrong Bundu Khan. So I think probably where we got dropped off was the right one. We just happened to walk away from it 17 minutes later, which makes sense because this doesn't feel like Liberty Market. All right guys, good news is we got our buddy uh, Mohammed coming to pick us up here in about four minutes for about 150 rupees. Yeah, very inexpensive overall to hop in an Uber. That is one general tip. I like to sometimes just take different means of transportation, one for fun, and two to see how often people like try and scam me for extra money. But if you're just coming as a tourist and you wanna make sure you're always getting the most honest prices, just take Uber or Kareem and you'll always get the best prices there. It's only gonna be like a five or 10 minute ride because I mean, you guys saw how fast we just walked over here, but we're already so far. Oh, we got a guy yelling at us. Hello, hello. A donkey cruising by. That would have been a fun ride to uh, hop on the donkey, but maybe, uh, maybe next time. Salam alaikum, Mohammed. Hey. Well, hello there. How are you? Good, and you? Well, fine. Yeah, but yeah, I'm Kaze. I'm Tigger. Tumkasa. Tigger. Tomorrow, name kya hai? My name's Mac. Mac. And what's your good hello. name? Hello. My name is, what is your YouTube name? My name uh, is World No Mac. Hmm? Mohammed Khan. Oh, it's a, that's a good name. That's a great name. Yeah. Your YouTube channel name. World Nomad. Here, let me type it in. You got a phone? Yeah, I'm Kesa. I'm Tika. You going? Yeah, yeah. Bahota Cha. Oh, well done, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, Pakistan, Zinda Ba. Yeah. yeah. You know that one? That's yeah. a good one. Either this or that. Type or chat. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right, same same for TikTok and YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Gentlemen. Can you, can you upload the vlog? Oh yeah, it'll, it'll come out in a couple weeks though. I got a bunch more videos coming first. Okay. okay. Goodbye, Good TK friends. Love you. Enjoy. Love you. Love, love you. you. Goodbye, gentlemen. Shukriya Muhammad. Bye. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy your day. Wow. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's happening? All of a sudden, like, multiple guys on a motorcycle came and surrounded me and I was like, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's Pakistan for you. People are so nice and friendly. They'll come stop just to say hello. So guys, we just have about a five minute, three minute drive. That is, luckily I don't have to cross that crazy street that uh, was a bit dangerous for me by foot. We'll be cruising there and we'll get back to the spot where our nice guy from the motorcycle actually dropped us off and my uh, genius self had the wrong address in there. Looks like we got something going on guys. It's completely closed down this lane where now we're actually driving on the wrong side of the road. And there's a massive group of men going on maybe a protest uh, yeah it looks like a protest yeah oh yeah protest going on 
Yeah, so we got a protest going on. Comment below if you know what the protest is for. Looks like we're arriving to Liberty Market here, and there's Bundu Khan, the one we were looking for. That is a good sign. And once again, no pun intended. So we're gonna get the ultimate breakfast. Muhammad Shukriya, my friend. All right, here we go. Shukriya. All right, and here we are. The Garden by Bundu Khan. Oh, it looks popping off at this hour. I wonder if we can get some outdoor seating. Let's see here. Please wait to be seated. Casual hanging around is prohibited. All right, let's see if we can uh, get ourselves a table. Salam alaikum, yaar. You got a uh, table for one? One person. All right, perfect. You got a spot that's not super loud? Wait. If I can get one outside, that'd be better so it's not too loud. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Salam alaikum, what's your good name? My name is Muhammad Baru. Oh, it's a very good name, sir. Nice What's to meet name, you. Sir? Ah, this is the one? What's Perfect. Name, well, one minute, one minute. My name's Mac. Mac. Nice yeah. name. It's a pleasure to meet you. So this is our best breakfast in all of Lahore, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, we have made it. We have a nice front row spot. As you can see, it's a very wide open inviting area. Uh, shukriya. And we have quite a few options. I actually have no idea what any of these items are, but I already know exactly what I'm going to order because my friend that's from uh, Pakistan had told me that this is the place to get the ultimate Pakistani breakfast. Until then, we're going to... We might need to try out a tea and a coffee. Oh yeah, water please, Rahim. Shukriya, yaar. You guys have coffees here? No coffee, yeah? No problem, no problem. All right, well, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably wanna go for a, a green tea. That'll do the trick. Actually, you know what? There's, there's multiple options. There's also juices. Salam, salam. Salam alaikum yaar, a pesa Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, perfect. For uh, beverages, is there like a special juice you recommend? Yeah, Oh, yeah? That's a good one, yeah? All right, let's take one of those. You also have coffees? No coffee. All right, then I'll take all. Green tea and mixed tea. Perfect. And green tea has caffeine? Green tea and mixed tea. Perfect. I'll take a green tea also. So two. Two green tea. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Two green teas. Like in Nashua, our specialty is butter and pie and beef nehari. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That sounds great. I trust your judgment. Your good name? Azam. 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 That's a great name. That's a great name. For the food, I know exactly what I want to order, which is Nasta Alwa Puri. Ah, yeah, that's the one, yeah? Perfect. Let's go with that. 10 minutes. All right, that sounds great. Shukriya, my friend. That's one thing I'll say, guys. They let you know how long until your order is going to be served, which is huge. Shukriya, Amir. So that's uh, the fresh tea right here. So we've got a full thing of green tea. And actually, I think that's the first time that I've had, I'll have tea here in Pakistan where it's not like the super milky kind. So as you can see here, we'll get it all poured up in there. That is going to be good. There we go. Some fresh green tea. Hopefully that's going to have some good caffeine in it, guys, because we didn't find any coffee on the way there. All right, guys, I think the tea has cooled down enough to give it a shot here. I did taste it before showing the camera just to make sure I don't burn myself, because in almost every video, I'm always burning myself. Oh, the green tea is good. Good green tea. Shukriya. We've got the whole staff watching us. We've got two over there. We've got a crew of them over here. And they're probably wondering what's this guy doing all alone at a restaurant enjoying a uh, tea holding the camera up. I will say though, when you go to some of these restaurants that are meant to go with like other people, you can go alone or you can go with friends. It's nice having you guys here on camera because it gives me someone to talk to. <laughs> Very good tea though. So guys, the funny part is I actually have no idea what's in the breakfast. It is called, I'm gonna try and pronounce it one more time because you might not have heard it before. It's called uh, Nasta Halwa Pori. <laughs> so like, I don't know if it's a big breakfast, if it's a little breakfast, but it seems like it's like their number one bestseller. So that'll be a good test to see how it is. And I also had some other recommendations that here in Liberty Market, where I'm at right now, is where you can find a lot of restaurants. And just based on the atmosphere of this one, which is like very like trendy, modern, like plants everywhere. I mean, you can see behind me, it looks like I'm in a forest right now. All of that like adds to a very inviting atmosphere. And one of the other recommendations, which I might take you guys in an upcoming video, there's a rooftop over here that has delicious dinner. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and I'll take you with us to that restaurant as well as we test out more and more cuisine here in Lahore. Oh 
here we go guys. The traditional breakfast has arrived. So this is the good stuff, yeah? Shukriya, my friend. Is that paratha bread? Oh, very nice. So as you guys can see here, this is as traditional as it gets. We've got, honestly, I can't even tell you what each one is. I'm only gonna be able to try it out and tell you what I think it is. But based on this, we have fresh paratha bread there. You can still feel that it's like, it's got its oil feeling to it. Right there, I'm guessing based on the texture, that's yogurt. And sometimes yogurt upsets my stomach, so I probably won't try it. Maybe just a little bit to tell you guys on camera. And then this one, I couldn't even tell you what that looks like. Some sort of yellow dish. This one with all the oils and maybe chickpeas in there, if I'm guessing. I'm probably completely the wrong guys though, so definitely drop a comment below exactly what's in it. But I love this stuff that's oily. And same with this one. No idea if it's spicy, but I'll tell you, we're going to find out. All right, so we're gonna try out the uh, paratha bread first. I just need to have it without the stuff, just to get a taste for what it's like. Mm. Okay, that's fresh paratha bread out of the oven. So we gotta dig right in, guys, because I don't want it to even risk getting cold right now. I'm gonna start with this first one here. I wish I had someone to explain it to me. So that's all right, though. I'm gonna find out with this first bite, mixing it in here. Oh, yeah. Now that. That is what I'm talking about. It almost tastes a little bit like curry in there, and I am enjoying that. Now the next one here, I think this next one's gonna be my favorite, but we shall find out here very soon. Let's try this one. Ooh, that is quite nice, quite nice. Delicious, very good. All right guys, time to try and dig in here to the next one, which is going to be more of the yellow one. So this one, I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Interesting flavor. Definitely never had this one yet in Pakistan. Mm. It's nice, a little sweeter. As you can see here, guys, we've got a full audience watching. How's it? How is it? <laughs> it's always funny when, when you have people watching you eat. As you can see here, guys, we're making some progress on it. So far, I would rate this one as number one, this one number two, this one number three. And the yogurt, like I said, I'm gonna maybe try a little bit of it, but yogurt's usually not my go-to. All right, guys, now that uh, I've tested them out, we're gonna do a little bit of the yogurt too. Gotta to test out the yogurt, but like I said, I'm not a fan of yogurt normally. The yogurt actually has a bit of like a cream cheesy taste, so it's actually nice. But like I told you, the problem is that sometimes the yogurt is just, I'm not lactose intolerant, but like certain yogurts have just caused me issues. And especially when I'm in places where my stomach might not be like as used to like various bacteria. I usually go for the safer stuff. So that's why I'm gonna stick to my number one favorite here, which is this one. And I'm using what I learned in the Middle Eastern countries to basically do that scoop with a paratha. Mm. Oh, that is nice. And it's only got a very light spice to it, so it's not too bad. The paratha bread though. Guys, there's few breads in the world that I've ever found that compared to paratha bread. And I think it's just the way they cook it. I would guess it is fried, but correct me if I'm wrong. Just the way the texture is and how the oils are. But, uh, oh yes. I could eat paratha bread for pretty much every meal. Oh my god, fantastic, fantastic. That is hitting the spot. Exactly what I needed to get this day started, guys. We're gonna go for uh, my second favorite dish one more time here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, oh my god. This is good because I've been meaning to have like a very traditional Pakistani breakfast and I have not yet and like, this is hitting the spot. Gives me a good impression for all the Pakistani breakfasts. It's good food, boss. Very good. This one's my favorite. Can you tell me what's inside of this? Kato? And what is that in English? Like potatoes? Yes. Uh, potatoes, yeah. Potatoes, so it's curry. And then what about this one? That's like chickpeas in there? Churnus, yeah, that's my favorite. So I, I would rate them number one, number two, number three, number four. So you guys one by one. Yeah, yeah, taste one by one. And uh, the paratha bread, ooh, perfect out of the oven. Very good. Tell your chef, thank you very much. Shukriya, my friends. Oh yeah, this is great, guys. This is delicious. Yeah, guys, and it's just a Wednesday. This place has like probably 70-80% occupancy in terms of the table. So that's how you know it's a good place. So when I, when I looked it up on Google Maps, it said like busier than normal. So I expect it to be a pretty big crowd here. Got some nice gentlemen here. Salam alaikum. <laughs> 
It's always funny to uh, when people are staring over, turn the camera on them, put, put the spotlight back on them. <laughs> Delicious though, guys. Delicious. For Pakistani food, I'd give this a, uh, a solid 9 out of 10. Yum, yum, yum. And I'd say I've had paratha bread maybe three or four times, I would guess. I've had cheese paratha. I've had just paratha bread a few times at the hotel. But I think this was baked the best. You know, I think this is perfect. Now, what type of desserts you guys have? Mm. I'll try that one. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Yeah. Let's try it out. I take your recommendations. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. We got one more piece of uh, paratha bread. We're gonna go straight in, and we are gonna have a little dessert. I can't promise I'm gonna be able to finish all of it. We might have to put legs on it, as my dad likes to say, which means take it to go. But we're at least gonna try it because this is the best breakfast, so you gotta try the best dessert, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. The way the paratha bread is, I think the reason why I like it is any types of bread that are super chewy are the ones that I enjoy eating the most. And let me tell you that, you can basically see with the paratha bread just how it breaks apart. It gives you a good idea of how the chew is. Like, I bet if I scrunched this hard enough, you could even see the oil dripping out. So for some of you guys, that might not be very appetizing. For me, oh yeah. That fills the void in my stomach. All right guys, we actually have dessert delivered already here. Oh, that's fresh out of the oven. The plate is very hot. We're still working on the paratha, so after we're done with that, then we're gonna jump right in. Guys, and sadly, this is my last and final piece of paratha bread, so I fully loaded that one up. Mm. Mm. Seriously, so delicious. It's a little messy though. I've gone through probably like four or five napkins already. Worth it though for these tastes. But now guys, I think it is time to go ahead and try out the desserts. It looks quite good, but I have no idea what to expect. So let's go ahead and swap these out, move these over here. And I have to get this. All done, yep. What? No, it's delicious. Really? Mm -hmm. Loved it. These are these are my two favorites. This is? I don't, yogurt uh, is bad for my stomach. It's okay. And yeah. this one? But this one, it's good, but I like these the most. The curry flavor is the best. The, and what's in this dessert? Meat topper. Meat topper. All right, so we're going to break it apart. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going we're gonna to break it right apart there. And it looks quite nice. Also it's, making it deep in milk. Dip in deep milk. Fried. Ooh. So guys, basically um, this is deep fried and it's best to have with milk or tea. So I like it. I had a little bite there. I don't know if the camera cut out because sometimes when I have the cover on it right now, it overheats. But let's take a nice big bite of the doughy side. I'm not entirely sure what to relate that to. But honestly guys, if you're like me, anything deep fried always tastes delicious. Definitely probably not healthy, but delicious. Thank you. Oh, guys, now actually the best part of this bite is going to be right in the middle where it's super, super doughy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is very nice. The chew in the middle, but I kind of like the side because you get a bit of the, uh, the crispy along with the chewy when you take one of those bites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is good. We're gonna get the bill here, and one more time, what was your good name? Mohammed Azim. Azim? Yeah. Mohammed Azim, great name, great name. So we're gonna take the bill, delicious recommendations, especially that dessert, that was a nice finisher. And uh, yeah, that's where we'll end it. All right guys, so we've got the bill here. So for us to have this delicious meal, comes out to about 650, so if you uh, basically change that up to United States dollars, that's about three US dollars for us to have all of that, included a tea, a water, a dessert plus a traditional Pakistani breakfast, so absolutely a fantastic deal. And uh, let's see here, we've got, all right, well, we've got uh, 1,000 there. All right, we'll, get, we'll leave them 2,000 because the food was very good. Uh, that's all right, the rest is gratuity for a great service. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's a pleasure, thank you. Gentlemen, thank you very much. The meals were delicious and the staff will take good care of you. Recommendations here are on point. I really appreciate it. All right, shukriya yaar. Goodbye, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, goodbye, thank you. All right guys, we got a nice traditional 
breakfast to fill up the belly. And I'll tell you, I am feeling great after that. Now it is time to tell you guys that is where we're gonna end today's video. Quite yeah. a bit of an adventure to go and get a breakfast today from riding motorcycles to crossing busy streets to then having the whole staff at the restaurant watch me consume my meal. It's been a fun one. Always an adventure here in Pakistan. So if you guys wanna see more videos, both here in Pakistan and all around the world, hit that subscribe button below. And if you've enjoyed this one, absolutely annihilate that like button to show some love, show some support. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, Exploring Pakistan.